King of Sports, brought to you by TJ's Wholesale Melrose, Sports and Games, Sewing World, Barbados Turf Club, Brewster's Trust, Avis Pharmacy, Steakhouse and Pizza Hut, Ultra, Mandela Plaza, King of Sports. Andy Thornhill. Well, at the Brewster Trust Camp, you, you're bound to find just about everything. It's well organized from top to bottom, A to Z. Alicia Brewster is a physiotherapist and well you know what a physiotherapist does but how have you found your role here um, at the Brewster Trust? Well the role here is pretty important in that we make sure that injuries that children are taken care of right away so that they won't have any prolonged problems in the near future. We make sure that cuts are taken care of so they don't get any infections and stuff like that. Well what has been a, the common injury? A kick on the ankle? on the big dog, kick on the chin. What, are, what has been the main complaint if there has been one specific one? Well, the main complaint so far has been mainly cuts. Mm -hmm. A lot of cuts and bruises we've seen for the majority of the camp. You have a staff that work, that work along with you? As far as there are other persons who work here. We have other physiotherapists, Mr. Andrew Simpson, Carolyn Phillips, and as well as a physiotherapist assistant. And how did you get involved with this particular camp? I got involved through Mr. Simpson. He's the person responsible for me being here. I believe Mr. Axel asked him to take part in the camp and he asked me to do some of the hours. Mm -hmm. You're enjoying it both as a sports enthusiast and as a professional, aren't you? Yes, I am. It's good to see the little children taking part in sports. It helps to build character and to make friends, so it's a good opportunity. Do you like football yourself? I like football, yes. But what is your main sport? Because I, I, I'm guessing that football is not your main um, sporting interest. Track and field is my main sporting interest. Mm -hmm. And you find a lot of differences in the way track people operate and footballers operate? There are differences in how track people operate to football people operate. Track people warm up tends to be a lot different, I find, to footballers. In that um, footballers, they have a particular routine to their drills and what's not, and the track people, even though they have a particular routine, they make sure prior to the, their event, they still go and do a couple more drills to make sure that they don't get injuries. But I feel that some footballers that I work with tend to, you know, sit on the side and wait till as soon as the game starts to then go and try to get a little warm up. So what will your recommendation be then to footballers in general? That warm-up is very essential. It helps in the reduction of injuries and is key. That's my advice. But one of the things that athletes do as well is warm down. Yes, cooling down is very essential. It helps in relieving some of the soreness that you may feel after the events as well as injury prevention. So cool down is important just as warm-up is important. 